We thank you for joining us here on WJZ as we are Ready cutting back into coverage now. Expected to get an update from the Hartford uh, County morning, Sheriff's everybody. Office. For bearing with uh, us. Sheriff Jeffrey uh, Galler speaking wanted, right now. Uh, Let's listen to in. Get out and give our community some information, but I also know the Baltimore County Police. We're going to do a press uh, a statement from shock trauma, and of course, um, especially on this day, uh, a day. February 10th that holds such significance for us here in Hartford County. You know, our thoughts and prayers are with those police officers who have been wounded in Baltimore County over the last couple of days. Um, I'm Hartford County Sheriff Jeff Gaylor. With me uh, is Lieutenant Tim Mullen, the Barrett Commander, Department of Emergency Services Director Rick Ayers, and our County Administrator, Mr. Robert McCord. Um, we're also being assisted at the scene up here in Hartford County tonight. Of course, our friends at the State Police, um, but we have uh, members, a lot of members from the Baltimore County Police Department with our deputies uh, and the Federal Bureau of Investigation and ATF have both sent uh, resources and personnel to help us with this situation. Um, I can confirm that earlier last evening, um, since we're now into the 10th, uh, around 7 p.m. our deputies were assisting, uh, men and women from the Sheriff's Office were assisting Baltimore County Police with a uh, search and on with ongoing search for the suspect in the shooting, the first shooting from Wednesday uh, in the Cockeysville area uh, related to that first officer shooting. Uh, while that operation was underway at a residence down there, uh, the incident happened with the second police officer being shot and immediately uh, following that there was a vehicle pursuit. Uh, with the suspect up here into Hartford County that ended in the area of the Hartford, uh, the uh, Faustin Mall, uh, where I know many of you have the footage from the activities there. Uh, I can confirm, and I believe the Baltimore County Police Chief, uh, Chief Delp, let you know that we do have the individual that we believe to be the suspect um, pinned in a perimeter in an area, um, and we are undergoing every effort to bring this incident to a peaceful resolution at this time. Uh, I have to thank all of our partners who are always there for us um, whenever we have a time of need. As we've been assisting Baltimore County, we find ourselves this morning with the shoe on the other foot and needing assistance from all of our county, state, and federal partners. Um, and again, for our citizens, uh, I, I want to let them know uh, that, you know, we have the we have the individual contained. It will be resolved here. Um, there is no threat to the community. Uh, that's what's important to, to me and the men and women of the Hartford County Sheriff's Office and obviously the county executive. Um, but uh, it, it is our goal. It remains our goal, no matter how much time it takes this this morning uh, or today, to resolve this peacefully. That's uh, that's our goal. So I, I'll do my best to answer some questions. As all these incidents are, this is evolving and still ongoing at the moment. When he is contained, what's taking so long to get him? Um, because he, uh, we, we believe he is armed with at least one rifle. Um, so you just can't, it's not as easy, and we've been watching some of the social media comments, it's not just as easy as walking up and putting him in handcuffs. Um, you know, the last thing we want is a, another exchange of gunfire, uh, and we don't want to take, you know, we don't want to be forced into a position to take this individual's life. So if it takes negotiations, and right now there have been no, no there has been no contact with him. We can see him, um, but there's been no contact with him. He's He's been moving around a little bit. So... Uh, um, again, time is on our side. We're, we're going to do everything we can to try to resolve it peacefully. When you say you have him pinned, what does that mean? That means he, when he bailed out of the vehicle, he went into a wooded area right there near the mall, and he, he went, he, uh, I want to say hunkered down. He, he, he dropped to the ground, stayed in a, in a prone position. He's moved a little bit since then, um, but we, we do have eyes on him. Do you have, um, I mean, are, are you surrounding him? I see the chopper up in there. What kind of resources well, are you using to watch him and make sure that he doesn't leave that area? You mentioned the big one, the, the aviation support. We, we do have our drones on the scene, and we have a very uh, tight perimeter. Um, we have armored vehicles here, you know, our, our rescue vehicles, that uh, to ensure we can get as close as we can while watching any movements he makes in any attempt to flee the area. Um, and he, he's made done up to this point, and again, I hope it remains that way. Are waking up in a few hours to start their day, get their kids to school, and are going to wake up to all these reports about this guy running in the woods. What do you want them to know as they start their day tomorrow? Well, I, I want them to know that you know this this incident is going to be resolved here. Um, he he will not be 
getting out of that area. My, my hope and our prayer is that it's in custody, um, but he'll make that choice um, at this point. Uh, I want them to know they're safe. Um, obviously, we're going to put any precautions in, in place that are necessary, but this, this incident is contained and it will remain contained. You said you haven't been communicating at all, but uh, is he aware of the, of the building? Oh, he knows. He knows. He knows we're there, and um, there have been some efforts already to. Um, people reported gunshots. Those were flashbangs. There, there has been no gunfire whatsoever. Our social media lit up with that. Those were flashbangs. He, he, he knows we're there. We know where he is, and we are monitoring him. We don't know. I, I don't know the extent of the incident with the police officer tonight, last evening now, um, whether he sustained any injury. There has been no physical contact or, again, no shots fired here. So he's not injured from anything that occurred here in Hartford County. Uh, the vehicle pursuit um, ended. I know that we were successful. I believe it was actually a Baltimore County police officer. All this is still early, but I believe it was a Baltimore County police officer who was successful in deploying spike strips um, and, and bringing him, forcing that vehicle to stop before he bailed out of it. So where did the vehicle stop when he bailed out? As I understand, it's on the parking lot of Falston Mall or the driveway right there next to it. Do we know why he was headed in this direction? Uh, we have some suspicion of why he may have came this way, but uh, I'm going to leave that for the Baltimore County Police to address as part of their investigation. You mentioned February 10th. It's a very important day for a Hartford County Sheriff and, you know, yes. Officer Daly, Officer Lodge. Um, just for people who might not know, tell us that and tell us what it means, especially on February 10th. You know, another officer was shot in Baltimore County and sure. recovering. Well, then they've had two officers shot in the last two days. or. Um, and, you know, it takes us back. We're, in a few hours, we're going to raise the flag at the boulevard uh, where we lost two deputies on February 10th, 2016. Uh, in my opinion, the most horrific day our county has ever seen. Um, and, you know, we, I see these reports from around the country of police officers losing their lives um, to, to violent criminals. And uh, every time I see it, you know, every time we see it, our hearts go out to those agencies. And certainly, again, our hearts and prayers are with those two officers who are wounded and wishing them a full and speedy recovery. So there's officers from ATF, FBI agents. What, what all, what agencies are involved right now? Um, us, Maryland State, Harford County Sheriff's Office, Baltimore County Police, obviously, the Maryland State Police and uh, ATF and FBI are all actively on the scene. And of course, we have um, the assistance of Harford County Department of Emergency Services. Um, they've staged uh, rescue or ambulances for us, uh, hopefully not needed, but they're there at the ready should we need them. Uh, and, you know, of course, the county administrators here on behalf of the county executive. Rob, did you want to say anything? Um, but, you know, a great partner. They're there for us should we need anything. Uh, we are reaching out to some other agencies for some resources. Uh, I know they've been in contact with the Delaware State Police for a specific piece of equipment that is being brought to the scene. Do you know how any ballpark of how long this is going to take to resolve? I mean, is it going to be at a certain point where you guys finally just go in, or I mean, how does that work? No, it's going to be it's going to be hours. I, I mean, I don't know that it's going to be hours. It could be hours. Um, so no, I, I don't have a specific time frame. We're working to do everything we can without using deadly force, um, and hopefully he doesn't present us with that need to use that option. Um, but we're hopefully. We'll take our time to make sure we do everything we can to resolve it peacefully. If this extends until tomorrow morning, are you going to cancel schools? And uh, that would be up to the school system, but uh, there's no school in that immediate area. Um, certainly, many businesses in that area are going to be affected because of the size of our footprint around the Faustin area, uh, and that is a major commuting route, uh, Route 1 there in front. So if it should go into the morning hours, but traffic jams are the least of my worries. Getting this individual into custody safely is at the top of our list. On the scanner, it was, we were hearing that he was doing different things to sort of hide, like he was hiding among rocks or he even rubbed dirt around himself so that the uh, thermal scanners couldn't find him. No, I, 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 I did not hear that. Um, I didn't see it on any of the social media that I looked over, okay. but certainly, um, it has been, if that's what he's doing, it's unsuccessful. We can see him quite clearly. Okay. Do we know anything about the weapon he has? No.
I, I, when during the chase, we were told he had two rifles and a handgun. Um, I know at the, when he bailed out of the vehicle, we recovered a rifle and a handgun. So uh, he is believed to be armed with at least one rifle. There likely to be another um, uh, presser or a discussion uh, once this is resolved. Well, certainly, um, I'll leave that in Christie's hands uh, to, to let you all know. Um, I'm, I'm hoping I would love to come in front of you an hour from now or, or four hours from now and say it's been peacefully resolved. But um, Christie will let you know if there's going to be another one. Um, is he in a wooded area or is it a yes. field? Yes, it's all wooded. It's a wooded Yes, area. completely wooded. And he's stayed in that wooded area? He has or? stayed in a very small part of that wooded area uh, the entire time since since the bailout. Does he have a police radio with him that he took from this? There was concern that maybe he does. Uh, we don't know if he does. Okay. So he took an officer's vehicle, Baltimore County officer. I, I don't know if that's a bar. I, I, I understand, again, these are questions probably better suited to Chief Delp. Um, I understood a hijacking or a carjacking was involved. Um, so I don't know who owns the vehicle that we were pursuing okay. and Baltimore County was pursuing. It was, yes. All right, you just heard from or are hearing from Hartford County Sheriff Jeffrey Gallard. The big development here, he says that suspect pinned in a perimeter. Hoping to have this resolved soon, peacefully, does not want to use deadly force, mm -hmm. uh, but says that, that suspect has dropped to the ground and is armed with at least one rifle and no threat to the community. Or handgun. Tonight. I believe it was a handgun. He said he left the rifle at the. Car. Said that he recovered one rifle, one handgun, took a rifle with him. They uh -huh. believe he had two. Okay. Which perhaps was tied into that car that he took from the Baltimore County detective. The important thing is, he said there is no threat to the community yes. because they have the situation under control. No, the man is not under arrest yet. However, they have him surrounded. Um, they have eyes on him, to use his direct uh, quote. And so, therefore, they do not believe that people in the surrounding area are in any danger because he is contained. And that's the big thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And he emphasized, and I appreciate this over and over, they want this to end peacefully. That is their goal. If it takes one hour or ten hours, they're not going to rush in there and ca cause bloodshed if they don't have to. They want it to end peacefully. Peacefully. That is their modus operandi, I guess. All right, well, look, we appreciate you joining us here on WJZ as we cut into coverage. Again, it was a rapidly developing story over the past couple of hours. Uh, you can stick with us for the very latest, not only here, but also online. CBS News Baltimore will have streaming updates all throughout the morning. All right, thank you so much. We're sorry to cut into programming. We'll go back to it now.